You can use heat to grow and retain length. <laughs> 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 Who would have thought? But there are some conditions to this method. The first thing you want to avoid when using heat is using it too frequently, meaning every day, three or four or five times a week, or even every single week out of the month. You want to avoid this. You also want to make sure that you are using heat protection when you use heat and you are using it when your hair is healthy. You're not using it on damaged hair that can already not tolerate heat. So now we've got all of those things out of the way, let's get into how you can actually use heat to grow and return length because all of these years we've been told with curly hair and natural hair that, that heat is the enemy and it only damages your hair and it breaks it off and it causes dryness and it causes split ends. However, you are probably using it wrong. The right way to use heat is that you use it not directly on your hair, i.e. you're not using a flat iron two or three times out of the week. What you want to do, if you are choosing to be like a straight haired natural, then you will do your silk press or blow dry and straighten your hair on one wash day, but then you will leave it after that, you won't put heat on your hair again until the next wash day. So that really eliminates a lot of the damage that can occur. You only want to use heat once, and then maybe if you can stretch it to week three or week four without applying heat again, and then you do your next wash day, that is how you want to really use heat to grow your hair. Alternatively, if you don't want to be a straight natural and you want to still use heat to grow your hair, because we all know it's a little bit more easy when your hair's in a stretch style. For me personally, I have a silk press four times a year and that four times a year gives me a nice break from having to do my curly hair styles. And we know that can all be really time consuming. So going forward, something that I'm going to be implementing and what you can implement too, is that you will stretch your hair using a blow dryer, and making sure you're using your heat protectant and you're not obviously blasting the hot air on your hair and using like a metal round brush to really overly, overly do it and get it straight. You're just simply straightening it for the purpose of stretching it out. So if you are fortunate enough to have a rev air, that is a really, really good way of stretching your hair. If you don't have a rev air, then you can obviously use the hair pick attachment or just like a regular um, paddle brush for blow drying your hair. Stretch it out. Once it's stretched, then you want to put it into some sort of protective style that allows you to moisturize your hair. This is really the key. If you are opting for protective styles that you maybe can't get to your hair, like braids, for example, like what I've got in today, as well, you want to just put into like twist or braids or something that you again want to wear for a number of weeks. During these weeks, you do need to make sure you are not just leaving it alone to its own devices. You are still applying your moisturizing products and your sealing products to make sure your hair gets enough moisture to the lengths and the ends so that when you take down your protective style, it's not dry, it doesn't break off and you can just keep redoing that style over the months or for the full year if that's something that you choose to do. So of course, heat is not the enemy. It never has been, but I think due to the amount of heat that people use and the lack of appropriate care when it comes to heat, that is when people have seen negative effects of using heat. But heat for me is something that is really beneficial, especially because my hair is so prone to tangles and breakage when it is in its natural state, i.e. a wash and go. I definitely need heat to stretch out my hair, to let it grow and just to leave it alone. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're someone who uses heat, if you're a straight hair natural, or you might be considering doing this method, and I will see you in the next video.